All right, guys. Good morning. Uh, this morning we're going to uh, Tokyo. We got all the stuff packed and ready. So let's go. Everything's ready. Minjo, tired? Little tired? Look how busy it is in Shinagawa Station. So we got to Tokyo finally. Uh, we just checked into the Airbnb. Uh, we're in Meguro Station near. There's an Airbnb near Meguro Station. That's where we are. Uh, to get to the Airbnb, uh, we had to go down these stairs right in front of me. Check it out. Such a long stairs. So this place has got like a bunch of older apartments. After looking at these apartments, we were kind of like nervous because <laughs> we thought that it was going to be really like old and a little bit dirtier. But it turns out that it's a pretty nice apartment in this area. Check it out. So we first went that way, but it's actually right here. There are lots of mosquitoes. Get out this room. So right when you enter, you see Minju just chilling. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's a pretty small it's a pretty small apartment, but look. So this is the room. It's got a little couch, floor couch. Yeah. This is like tatami floor mattress. It's got an AC, fridge, washer, microwave, and uh, kitchen right here, small kitchen. And then over here, this is the bathroom. It's a regular bathroom. It's not bad, right? I mean, it's it's alright. I mean, for two people, it's a decent size. It's about the same size as like the apartment that we live in currently in Osaka. But the location is like amazing. It's right next to the Meguro Station, which is like one of the major, kind of like a major stations in uh, Tokyo. And then you get this uh, portable Wi-Fi. That you can take with you if you're traveling from overseas you appreciate that because you can take it everywhere outside and have access to internet we've stayed at like maybe six different airbnb uh, places and this is uh pretty nice in comparison to other places especially given the price uh, during the summertime the airbnb can be more expensive we stay at uh, one of the airbnb bees in uh shibuya which was like right next to the station. That one now, I checked the price right now and it was like 100 bucks per night. But this place, guess how much it is? It's only like 25 to 30 dollars per night. With cleaning fees, it adds up a little bit, but then it's pretty good, you know? I'll have to take a video on like how to find a nice Airbnb for a good reasonable price. At this point, I think I'm pretty good at finding good Airbnb places, so. Oh, I want to share the tips with you. Andrew, where were you? 
Anyways, we're heading out to get something to eat. Yeah? Yeah. Let's go. Shh. Shh. <laughs> So we're just talking about how large of the city Tokyo feels compared to Osaka. Like uh, I've been in Osaka for like a year, a little over a year now. It's like a completely different feeling. Uh, Tokyo is at least uh, three times larger than Osaka, but it's just like the feel that it, of the city that it gives you is like amazing. Just the number of restaurants and like stores, shops around here in Tokyo is nothing like it's, it's just uncomparable to other places. There's just so many. Every vlog, there's like a really fancy restaurant and clothing apparel shops, and like you know, all these like small shops here and there. A lot of places like that, and there are so many people. It's crazy to think, think you, get, you kind of get overwhelmed with like the number of people here. That's the feel that we felt like uh, when we uh, got here immediately, right away. And the place where we're going is Earth Cafe. Once again, we're from LA, so we're missing these a lot. Guess what? The restaurant was closed! As you might have been able to tell, we're really hungry. We're just gonna get some, go to the first place we know nearby. And it's right here. It's empty? It's open? What's the name of the place? Chun Sui Tang. Chun Sui Tang? So this place is like a Taiwanese restaurant famous in uh, Taiwan and uh, they, they sell noodles and they sell tapioca Minju's got her food So that one is uh, what? Uh, noodles with beef and they got one with a uh, salt face uh, soup with some chicken pork some uh, srancha Is it good? Yeah. Sorry guys, I was uh, I was going crazy because I thought that cafe was open, but it turned out to be uh, not true, and it was closed. So I was getting really desperate to eat because I was we we're really hungry. Restaurant here, uh, they have locations in Tokyo, and then also they have locations in Osaka as well. I mean Osaka, they're opening up a new store in Osaka, but like in Tokyo, there are two of these locations, so. Uh, we wanted to visit here. Uh, the noodle, the noodles were pretty good. Wait, it's not just the noodles here, but the, the tapioca drinks are really popular and they're amazing. And we got the goods right here. So the tapioca drinks here are like amazing. Like uh, the sweetness of the drinks here are perfect. Whereas the other places tend to be like really, really sweet. And then the tapioca itself here is like really, really like squishy and like chewy and it's perfect texture. Uh, Minjo and I, we've been to a lot of like tapioca places and this is like one of the better places. We try like so many different tapioca drinks and this is so good. <gasps> the drinks here are just perfect. Oh, they had a mango one too. Guys, look how they park their car next to their apartment. It's lifted up like this, up here, right next to the stairs. Shake Shack! Shake Shack of Ebisu. So just, just as I thought that this Airbnb was nice, this is a problem with the water shower here. The shower, you can only get hot water that's about, that's about 38 Celsius, which is really hot. And then it do, you can't mix it with like regular water to adjust the temperature. So that you have to do the adjusting here yourself. And this is like just a bathtub And then this is very very shaky <laughs> By the way, and then it, it kind of stinks in here 
Okay, let, let me show you what, what I have been doing for to take a shower here. Since this water is too hot, we grab a bowl from the kitchen, and all you do is put hot water here, <laughs> fill, fill up the bowl. Yeah. Yeah, fill it up. Like a little bit, 75% of the hot water. <laughs> and then you just get the little bit of 25% of cold water in here to mix it up. Okay. You stir it. And then when you're taking a shower, mm -hmm. you pour it over your head like this. To wash, your, wash yourself. You gotta keep doing that. Like this. Mix the water. Put some water, cold water in here, and then get it on yourself. <laughs> it's okay. huh? You're so sad. Yeah, this is crazy. I know. It's so much work. <laughs> Believe it or not, in first time in my life, I've been showering for one hour today. Yeah, I took one hour too. Yeah, I know. This is crazy. <laughs> it's like back to 80. Back to the 80s. Yeah. Yeah, that's why Airbnb is always hit or miss. <laughs> I guess that's what you get for like $40, $50 per night Airbnb over here. And by the way, there are lots of mosquitoes too. <laughs> the mosquitoes are right outside of the, the door. And then when we open the door to come in and out, they come in and out with us. Anyways guys, I think that's going to be it for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one, yeah? Bye-bye.